going live. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm super excited. I have Cindy Bennett, Amanda Panda teacher. Amanda, you know that's like your name forever, right? No worries. <laughs> and Mandy Ferguson's here, and Amy Lou. Thanks for joining me, guys. Thank you. So can we go around and you guys introduce yourself? Let's see. Top left, Amanda Panda, you're first. Awesome. Hello. I'm Amanda Panda Teacher from AmandaPandaTeacher.com. Um, I love to talk about this topic because I was about to go on a big traveling trip with my family. Um, I was planning and gearing up to take my classroom on the road in an RV and travel across America for a year with my kids and my husband. Unfortunately, COVID-19 happened and so we're staying safe in our home um, and not, not leaving jobs jobs and health insurance and all those good things. Um, but I have a lot of tips because I have traveled a few times and I was about to go off on a year long adventure without any internet out into the great unknown. So um, I got plans. Um, I'm happy to share. So I'm happy to share resources on my Etsy shop. Um, I have a page on Facebook. I blog. I do all kinds of things. YouTube, everything in the world. Amanda Panda teacher everywhere. So good She's to be involved. with you. <laughs> It's true. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> and Mandy, thanks hey for guys. coming, Mandy. Hey, it's good to see you guys again. Um, I'm Mandy Ferguson. I, um, I've been with VIP Kid a little over a year now, and um, I have an online store as well, the ESL Connection, so you can check that out. I'm happy to be here. I've done a little traveling and, and working from my daughter's closet, um, so <laughs> I've got some interesting things, too. Good. Amy Lou. Amy. <laughs> oh, Amy, we can't hear you. Oh, maybe she has to press the audio button. Well, we heard her just a minute ago. Okay. And, and Go ahead, Cindy. Oh, I hear you now, <laughs> okay. Amy. Yeah, we oh. do hear you now. Okay. Well, my name's Amy Liu. Some of you might have seen me do an interview on Teacher Kelly's uh, YouTube channel. I have a YouTube channel. I have not started creating yet, but I admire all the ladies. And I'm just really happy to be a part of the community that you all have created and that everybody keeps joining. I love the positivity. Um, I myself have traveled quite a bit. Um, the longest I was traveling away was about a month, month and a half while teaching. And um, I've done it in hotel rooms, friends' basements, you name it. So I'm excited to share some tips and learn some tips. Great. Good. And Cindy. You okay. look great, Cindy. Thank you. And these are real flowers from my garden. Yeah. So I'm oh. using my iPad. So with the iPad, I can do the virtual background without oh, the nice. green screen. So I can do the green screen, but I haven't perfected it yet as far as this room has a lot of light. So I get shadows. And so it's just, it's just too iffy so I thought I would come on with my iPad and just use the virtual background so that's what I'm doing so these are actual flowers it's an actual photo from my yard <laughs> <laughs> Love it. um yeah so um Cindy Bennett and I um <clears throat> I administer the VIP kid iPad users group on Facebook mm -hmm. and so I we have like over 3,000 members there so that is a really cool yeah awesome. thank you um, that is really cool that um, a lot of people on that group use their iPads for traveling. And um, it's been really cool to get to know people from all over the world. Um, I, I am just a regular person. Like it's not backed by VIP Kid. I just, when I first started VIP Kid, my computer was too old and I realized it wasn't going to work. Even though I did all my um, all my preliminary stuff and got hired on the old computer, when I hooked up to China, I had all these problems, but I had an iPad. And so I ended up using that and I loved how it worked. So I ended up using it more and more and more. So I do have a computer now, but I, <clears throat> at that time, I was like in this group and that group. And we were saying, who has an iPad? Who has an iPad? So I just said, let's just start a group. And it just really grew. And so that's really awesome. And I also have a YouTube channel as well, where I share a lot about the iPad and tips and things like that. And I have used my iPad 
in my, I brought my office traveling last yeah. year. I was able to do a lot of traveling this year. Not so much, but right? <laughs> <laughs> I have done classes in different places in my car, in a house with people, without people in, uh, on vacation out in the yard hooking mm-hmm. up to hotspot or hooking up to other people's Wi-Fi or other people's hotspot in the car. I've done like feedback and all that kind of stuff on the road. So I feel like I've done it. Plus I've learned from other people. So, so we've got this. <laughs> yeah. So it is doable. Yeah. Great. Well, and my name is Casey Oswald and welcome to my channel. Um, I have a website teaching with And this today's, um, session that's the word I'm looking for collaboration like, yeah, yeah was from Jason Cheek so he had asked us to do this one about traveling I know I'm pretty sure he's traveling or was traveling he is traveling yes, he's Wasn't traveling. It down to Texas or something but I think he's not teaching so Jason are you teaching yeah he person? took a break I think yeah. he took a month so, off a yeah month. <laughs> so that was um, an easy way out just take your time off and you don't have to worry about right. it. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah, I think that's all about me, really. And you can find that in other videos on my channel. So let's see. Hello, Stephanie is here and Jason. Deborah Green is here. Amanda Panda and Amy. Teacher Renee. Hey, Renee. And William. Hey, William. Oh, William said he's leaving on a five-month RV trip next Ooh, week. Ooh, nice. Lucky. Oh, so I wish that was me. Trip. Yeah, I'd like to know where he's going, just out of curiosity. <laughs> where do people go nowadays? Yeah, let us know. <laughs> to the woods? <laughs> hey, Danny. Danny said, Jason, thank oh, hi, you Danny. about putting your photo. Oh, cool. Great. And Jason said he is traveling. Good. Okay, so the most I've done was 33 classes in a hotel one weekend. <laughs> So, <laughs> 33 that's a lot wow. it ended up you weren't being- on vacation no I went for the weekend because I well the first time I went I had a retirement party and I think I did 15 that weekend and then the second time I went to journey so I ended up doing like 33 classes that weekend and um did you yeah. do have a weekend or you must have spent the whole time in the hotel I mostly spent the time <laughs> in the hotel yeah <laughs> Yeah, it might have been reversed. Anyway, I don't know if I would recommend that. <clears throat> no, but remember, I was only in a month. Right. I was in a month, my first journey. So I, well, my only journey. Um, so I was really trying to keep my bookings and, you know, yeah. staying on top of things. So um, let's get started right into it. So anybody want to start off with the tips? I'm going to get my whiteboard ready and I'm going to try to write some of these down. Maybe we can keep track of them. So I would say, I would say, you know, if you, my thing was I already had an iPad. So that was made it like I did it for free. But if you don't already have an iPad, I would recommend that you would try and get one because they do work really well when you're especially quick, you get online quicker and there's something about it just makes it um, just it's easier than trying to set everything up and it's totally doable in your car or something like that. So that would be my thing. If you don't have an iPad, it's still doable. I know that I think it was Kim that says she has a PC and she has, it's all like one thing and she just throws it in her car. So that's doable too. I have, I have a, um, a laptop that I bring with me. And um, luckily I also bring my iPad just in case because at Journey, it was not working, my laptop, and then luckily my iPad worked, so. I have an iPad that's old. It's from my mom. It's like a really oldy fifth generation, and it's my backup device in my classroom, so I can't say it. Sorry, I have cat visiting. <laughs> my, my No one's home at my house. All my kids are with my husband, and so the cat just needs some love because no one's been around to pay attention to it. Um, I, I It's a really old iPad that my mom gave me, so she upgraded, and she gave me her oldie. Even though it's a really old generation, it still is able to use the app. I can't use any other fun stuff I tried some other things with my kid and I was like oh this iPad is too old but it will get onto the VIP kit app it sits right by my desk as my backup so I can't say enough 
how important it is to have a backup, but it also is great for, for traveling. So if I was traveling in an airplane, this is what I would bring because it's mm -hmm. so much easier, lighter, easy to take. I took a driving trip to Las Vegas. I brought my whole setup. I have a gaming computer. I brought the whole thing and I actually used it. Um, I keep this always as backup. So I actually take two devices when I travel. Mm -hmm. um, I used to teach on Chromebook before VIP Kid didn't allow us to. Oh. That was so nice because there's so many small compact Chromebooks for devices to take. But yeah. definitely always a device and always a backup um, just because it's so important. You never know what can happen to your computer. Now, Cindy, correct me if I'm wrong, though, but before they go, they want to make sure they download the high definition, the HD app. Right? Yes, that's the biggest app. thing. If you're going to have an iPad as a backup, my thing is, and I try to put in the beginning of every video, download the HD app. Mm -hmm. Don't wait until it's an emergency because there are two apps. There's one that's plain orange. That would be like your phone app. And then there's um, the HD app, which has a white corner, and that's the one you're going to teach it. And so you have to have the HD app or you will not. And then on the HD app, you press on it and there are two places you can go. You can go it. to the teaching list. Yep, there you go. Yeah. The teaching list or you can go to the portal. So mm -hmm. you can in the left hand corner, you can press either done or home. And so those two things you need to know. I don't know how many people have gotten on the group and like, I have to teach in five minutes. How do I do this? You know, and you're like, I feel for you, but you should have done this before now, <laughs> you know? So, so everybody, I think the key, after the this key, video. The key with any tech is always practice before. If you yeah. are going to go traveling, practice a few classes on your hotspot at your house. Good. If you right, are exactly. planning for a backup, set up the iPad before so that you've already practiced it. Don't wait until your heart is pumping and the firemen are calling <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. You're going to get a teacher no show, which just happened yeah. two months ago. Don't wait. Don't mm -hmm. be like me. Always have a backup device. And so I, I would also has oh, a story ahead. for us about it. I don't yeah, know. Go ahead. Uh, oh, me? Did yes. You know what <laughs> yes, exactly what Amanda said and exactly what Cindy said. So I don't use an iPad. I have Android devices, which I'm about ready to switch up and, and finally bite the bullet. But anyway, my husband has an iPad. So we were at Christmas at my daughter's house and I'm logging in. It's like my third class and I had a gap between. So I well, go to log back in and I couldn't get in. And I'm like, oh, crud, you know, <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, I'm, time's ticking, time's ticking. I've restarted, I've restarted. I go out mm -hmm. to the, I'm like, where's your tablet? And so I am quickly trying to download the app. Don't oh, wow. know how to use an wow. iPad. Oh. My husband is actually having to leave the house. <laughs> I'm like about in tears. I don't want the teacher no show. <laughs> At the last second, it all loads. I hit start and I'm like, there's my student. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, cool, like, hello, I've been waiting. Yeah, for right. It's like, hi, how are you? <laughs> yeah. That was all ready for you. <laughs> it was awful. But yes, yeah, so from that point on, it's been travel with, I carry my laptop with me and it's a lightweight, but it's a fast. Yeah. I, I upgraded and got a new one when I started teaching. And um, I now have that as a backup just in case. And I have yeah. practiced a couple times with it since, but, and yes, what you said, Amanda, make sure you're practicing to use, to be able to seamlessly get your, um, your hotspot connected. Cause yeah. I had an issue at home one day, not even out teaching and I couldn't get connected. And I'm like, what the heck? Yeah. And so we ended up having to go in cause you actually have to do a little tweaking to get the hotspot to work. So right. it's not like just hooking up to the hotspot and you can go. Right. But, um, yeah. Those are some good suggestions. That's what I was going to say too is that even though my ipad oh, i think we uh -oh. just lost her but when oh, she comes her it does it sometimes but um i'll add something oh, we real lost quick. you cindy okay sorry you're back you're good okay i was just gonna say even if you have hooked up with your hotspot ahead of time every so often if you don't use it to go online check it to make sure like one time my power went out and even though I was on my phone with the firemen, if you're not in the class the second it starts, they most likely will give you a no-show. There are very few circumstances they don't, yeah. 
You have three minutes. Don't count. Well, mine did it in I've less than three worse. minutes. Yeah. I've heard less than that. They say three minutes, but not gonna wood, not me. it was less <laughs> than three minutes this one time. And I was on the phone with the firemen and oh, I was trying matter. to connect. Yeah. So it was less than three minutes. So just, you know, it's a misconception that that would be teacher IT. That actually right, is not right. teacher IT because they VIP get counts being in the physical classroom. If you right. don't make it in before three minutes of class are over at the beginning, mm -hmm. it counts. It doesn't matter if your power went out or whatever happened, you can try to get a, um, a medium cancellation or some other thing. But technically our contract states, the teacher will be in class on time at the second that the class starts, no matter whatever is going on, all our devices and equipment are our responsibility to be there. And I learned the hard way. So don't learn from me. Three minutes is all they give you. If, if you're any time entering the class past that, then even if you're on the phone with them trying to fix things, they will market a teacher no show because you've gone over the time that you could go out over like 25 minutes to 28 minutes to make up for that IT time that you had. So after that, then it's just a bum and you've got a teacher no show, even though you were physically there, you were ready. It doesn't matter. So again, mm -hmm. backups are so important. I was going to add one. Don't forget your power cords. It yeah. is the worst yeah, when you get somewhere true. and you don't ha have your chargers. So like with your device, with your, I have a little list actually that I keep in my travel bag and in there yeah. I have chargers and headphone chargers. Like I've got chargers mm -hmm. for every good thing in the world. So I've got to like get all those chargers put all together. It's yeah. hard to find device chargers in strange cities. So mm -hmm. make sure that you've got that too. And they're expensive. Yes. Yeah. Amy. Sorry, I know you said you wanted to say something. Go ahead. No, that's okay. Just to add to, um, especially with power outages, even at home, you can fake a power outage to test your devices. You know, you can go to your oh. um, box and turn off the power to your house to make sure your backup battery um, is working. You can make sure your hotspot. So you can kind of troubleshoot that way in advance so if that's something kind of out of the box most people wouldn't think about faking a power outage and i never thought of that <laughs> i don't have to i get enough power outages i can try right. this <laughs> yeah well i haven't thought of it that's awesome hey candy and kelly tag thanks for coming and i know there's 12 of you here thank you and thanks teacher renee she said give the video a thumbs up great Hey guys, don't forget in the chat, if you have questions for us, we still have a lot of tips to go, but if you have questions for us, please put them all in caps um, so that I can find them easier. I don't think, it, oh, Kelly said, I've heard lots of teachers say they got a teacher no-show in less than three minutes. Yeah, I definitely yeah. did. It was like seconds and they said, nope, oh. sorry, you weren't on time. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so, so far I have the iPad and the power cords. Um, so I for the three minutes, I was going to say for the three minutes, I think it's a, if you're there on time and you do your class, but then you have problems in between, they'll give you three minutes. That's what I always thought. Like they'll give you three minutes to, as long as you were there on time when the class started. And then after the class, if you're in and out, in and out, in and out, and then it's more than three minutes, they might cancel the class. Not always, but. And that would they, be and teacher then, IT. Yeah. And, and then, then you if get you, no pay. Right, right. But it's yeah. not like a teacher no show. So yeah, and three I've, minutes I've, either way. I've right. taught the entire class and then get an IT because, you know, they yeah. thought so. Anyway, yeah. that's. Uh, we did talk a little bit about hotspots. So um, for traveling overseas, the hotspot I used was a Sapphire. I was going to bring it in here, but since I moved from Germany, I don't know where I put it. <laughs> Hey guys, but um, I have a Sapphire that is global. So you just pay as you're using it. Um, I wouldn't want to use it for everything all the time, but if I needed my hotspot, I have it um, for overseas. For around in the States, I just use my phone. I have a plan that I can use it without, you know, adding up crazy amounts. You do need to check with your, um, I was a dealer, your phone company, I guess, to see. Yeah. Um, what somebody said they got charged charged a whole lot so sorry guys my family from boston is here so i'm forgetting to put my r's in and i can hear it 
Oh, that's cute. I'm like, you get I can't even Art. tell. Sounds I'll- normal to me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, check with your phone companies and see if you have a plan for that. Does anyone else have anything on hotspots or what do you use, Amy? Well, my first tip is kind of even before you actually travel is if you Mm -hmm. know you have your travel dates coming up start writing it in your feedbacks yeah that's that's kind of where I was thinking Mm -hmm. start there is um Uh typically if I have something planned out at least two weeks even a month out depending on how soon I or how early I plan something um I immediately start writing it in my feedbacks um especially because my travel days I typically won't teach because I'm not going to mess with hiccups or anything like uh-huh. that. I wait until I'm at my destination um, to then get everything situated, open up a short notice or something like that. And then I will book, you know, my regular classes. I wrote that down in my notes as well, Amy. Do not, do not trust that you're going to make it somewhere on your travel days, especially if uh-huh. you're flying with delays and everything. Um and car rides. We were stuck in Switzerland for four hours in the car. You just, you know, travel is tricky. Well, then yeah. that also lets them know too, like if your background's not your usual background, you know, they kind of have an idea. And then you can also ex- talk about where you're traveling. Um, I mean, a lot of people talk about backgrounds. And for one of my first travels, I was literally on a blank wall with one picture in a hotel. No big deal. Yeah. It was fine. Right. It's no big deal. Yeah. I was going to say, so I don't ever book classes the day before I'm traveling, like that travel day or the day after. And actually I learned the hard way and I had to cancel one class because um, the flight I was going to take to New York was delayed and they changed us to another flight that was earlier. So I had to finish packing, get in our car, get to a hotel. We went to the Motel 6 by LAX and I had to teach in the coffee room at Motel 6, which is really like a little hallway. I had to put a sticker on my shoulder to tell the security guards that I was an online teacher and I can't talk to them. Because they kept coming to ask me, what are you doing? Because LA downtown is crazy and they monitor people in the hotel. Wow, that's a good idea. I wrote a little sticker that put on my arm. It was awful. I would never, ever, ever book classes the day before I travel on flights ever again. And don't do it on the back end either because you never know what delays could happen, like not getting there. It is so stressful to have that Mm -hmm. happen. It was the worst. And then in the middle of the night, the fire alarm went off at the hotel and we had to evacuate. So I got two hours oh of sleep that night before we flew. It was a nightmare. Wow. Never. So I learned wow. my lesson the hard way. Don't ever do that. Um, yeah. So just have a plan. Don't don't book classes before. Don't book classes after. Really give yourself extra time. It's not worth the heartache or the hassle because that mm-hmm. was no fun. A start of a three week beautiful trip was like hell. And I was like, why are we doing this? And why am I in Motel Six in Los Angeles? Like, am I a thug? Like, it was terrible. Um, and it was awful. I'm like, I'm That's a teacher. Great. I can't talk to you. Like, I really had to write it on my shoulder. It was crazy. I gotta get my ten bucks. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> I can't cancel classes. It was awful. It was awful. I'm getting ten dollars for this. Just leave me alone. Yeah, yeah. Don't ask me again if I need anything or what you're doing here. I can't talk to you. Like, oh, right. Amy. That's great. I was just going to add to is double check your flight times or your travel times. A friend of mine that's also a teacher, um, Dave. He's in Thailand or in he was traveling between cities in Thailand and he misthought his time and the class was actually later or earlier the flights and he ended up teaching on his ipad on the airplane crossing his fingers he's like it's an extra long taxi i just need three more minutes you know so um, wow that's great yeah he's sitting there on the airplane teaching that, that is, is some great. good karma. <laughs> that is awesome. I love it. I was going to say too, we, I always remind myself when I see people traveling and teaching, remember our parents pay a lot of money for every class. So yeah. even though we can do it, 
should we do it is the question to have a quality class with our students. I've seen people teach like in the parking lot, holding up like a background behind them outside a gas station. How good is that class going to be for the student whose parents paid a lot of money for that class? So yeah. just for, just for, because we can do it, should yeah. we do it? Always think about that with your students. I don't teach in the car. I'm going to do my very best when we RV travel to have a background set up and a steady place for my classes with consistent internet. Like I, I have a plan to make successful teaching, but I can't do this like on the fly in a bathroom and all these random places. Like if you have to, but if you can plan to be successful and have mm -hmm. a good situation for our students just remember they pay a lot of money for our classes right, so we yeah. should try to do our very best to make a travel yeah. classroom really great yeah so what well, I, use oh sorry is it on that or oh yeah sort of like when when I went to South Carolina you know some people said you should never teach in your car but I was in a house where everybody was asleep the whole house was full and yeah. I went out and I set up my car. I wasn't traveling, but I was in the car. But the whole lesson was neighborhood. So it was pretty cool that I could turn the iPad around and show the neighborhood. <laughs> so there are ways that you can adapt to the situation. But I agree, you know, there are times you just say, you know, it's best I just don't teach at that time because, you know, you do want to think of the other side of the story too, not just your own. There is something in here from Jason. Let's see. If you get a teacher IT, but you taught the entire lesson, sometimes they will still pay you if you submit a ticket letting them know. It'll still be a TIT, but you'll get paid. Oh, interesting. So I guess it's worth a shot if you teach the whole thing. Huh. Wow. Um, teacher Renee said she invested in a portable power station camping generator from Amazon. How much was it? Did she say how much it was? but we can I've been kind of looking at those I know Danny got one I, I haven't candy. heard an update oh candy yuck um let's see oh sorry she's talking about COVID stuff um William said he's not flying until vaccine crossing country in the RV just to visit his elderly mom Aww. um and Candy said done. she thinks it's for emergency situations only I think emergency situations in the car or something but I think if I'm going on a week vacation, teaching before everybody's awake in the hotel has been just fine. I've done it many, many, many yeah. times. Yeah. I mean, I didn't mean to have 33 that one weekend, but um, I was brand new. But I do generally will open up about four, my PPT slots. I'll open up all of those PPT slots for while I'm traveling, not the travel days, but and teach from the hotel and generally we have like an extra room or um you can hang up your background over a shower curtain and nobody will even know that <laughs> that it's a bathroom um, yeah I I suggest talking to the hotel too since we teach mm -hmm. early in the morning many hotels have office space or I taught in like a conference room ballroom before yeah. um in in North Carolina in Washington DC I taught in a hotel in their business center mm -hmm. like the maid came in and emptied the trash in between my class but that was the only person that came in um and she went out quick <laughs> Um, so I, there is ways to kind of work around um, teaching in different places in the hotel. Um, just ask the hotel, tell them your online teacher, see if they have any extra space that you could host a class from this time to this time, et cetera. Um, I teach in Pacific Coast time, so it's very early here. It's like three in the morning when I start teaching. So again, like very few people are yeah. using the ballroom at three in the morning. So. Wow, yeah. One the power of oh, the, the portable power. Sorry, I found one um, for camping. This is really good. Like if you go camping and want to recharge cell phones, etc. It's called Jackery. I'll put the link in the chat. It looks like this. So it's a portable power that you can carry on the go. One of my girlfriends had it when we went to Boy Scout camp. And so this would keep your battery um, charged for your laptop lights, et cetera, for the teaching time. It, I think it's like an eight hour thing. It's really awesome. So um, it's called Jackery. I'll put the link in the chat. Um, so that's one that I would take because you can carry it with you camping as well as use it as battery backup inside your teaching classroom. So. Um, one other thing about talking to the hotel guys, if you're traveling, it's a good thing to call them, call the front desk yeah. and 
to do an internet check for you, a speed check. Um, if they don't know how, they can go to Ookla or just it's speednet dot whatever, speedtest.net, Ookla, I Google it. Um, they can do it for you and check the ping to make sure that their Wi-Fi is good there. So if you're deciding between a couple of hotels, that might be a good idea to call them and ask them. So far, I haven't been denied that. They've always done it. And who I learned it from, that teacher, hadn't been denied. All the hotels have been really good about doing an internet speed test for us. So, yeah. Amy. Is that during or that's like before your trip? I that's would do before it before your trip. Because once you're there, you're kind of stuck. Right, right. <laughs> but, it has been in the hotel that I'll get there and um, log in and it's not very good. And then you call the front desk or the, their IT people and usually they will redo the router so that it takes off some of the people that had stuff connected that are no longer there or no longer using it. Maybe they had been on for hours and hours and hours and they're not using it anymore. They will restart the router for you and get oh, you wow. a connection. So don't wow. be afraid. That's I'm cool. Gonna, I mean, I, <laughs> I've been traveling and teaching. I've been getting down there. Amy. I also, also. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, Amy. I was just say I also travel with my own Ethernet cord. So if it's possible for me to connect, I definitely connect. Now, sometimes the hotels will have the port, but they're no longer active. So um, that's something to consider. And then also, there was one time when I was teaching at a hotel. Wi-Fi was working great. I'm in class. All of a sudden, my ping jumped up to 2,000. Yeah. Okay. Stay calm. Yeah. yeah. The kid didn't notice anything. Yeah. And it jumped between, you know, 50 to 1,000 to 2,000. Personally, I never call the firemen. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like it's a hot spot unless there's a real, real issue. Mm -hmm. So I never called the firemen. Kid never noticed anything. Later, I went and watched the playback, and um, the playback was fine. So yeah, that happened to me too. That happens in the hotels all the time, but I haven't noticed it affecting the classes. It'll like shoot and then be fine. Right. So. But the, you know, you play it cool and you don't let them notice because I know some teachers they just start freaking out, and I think that's more noticeable than the actual tech issue. Right. Definitely. Also, the office ask them to have your room be placed close by the office. This is in our chat box, um, like it, whether you're your RV park or you're in a hotel or a condo, ask for the closest location by where the office is. That's where the router usually is. Um, yeah, I, um, I, well, the first thing I do when I get to a place is I connect my computer on and try the Wi-Fi of the hotel. Mm -hmm. Then I try my hotspot and whichever one is better, that's the one I teach from. Yes. So that's the very first thing I do when I sit down. I want the lowest ping possible and my biggest upload, is it big upload and da um, download speed, mm -hmm. the highest I can find. So whichever one is higher, that's the one I teach on. And usually the hotel is actually a little better when I'm teaching in the morning than when I I'm currently testing because yeah. like you check in four o'clock lots of people are using the internet it's getting some traffic but when I'm teaching there's not much traffic happening so um so just always sit down test first so you have a plan like you're reading my notes Amanda <laughs> I exactly uh, had that on here make sure to girl, <laughs> I was about to go for a whole year so I know exactly what to do <laughs> wow yeah yeah well I, I wanted to add that with that said um Last year I went on a trip to Jamaica and we went to a like a resort type of place. It wasn't a five-star resort. It was like lower end. It wasn't, you know, it was, it was nice, but, <laughs> but you I thought go to a nice one, Kansas Cindy. <laughs> I know, but I'm not, it, you know, I wasn't with the wealthy crowd, but it was really nice. But I figured, Hey, you're at a resort. You're going to have good internet. Right. So I was going to open my classes, but something in me said, maybe I shouldn't. Mm -hmm. And I was so glad I didn't because my, even talking on my cell phone, I couldn't, you know, I had to go to this certain place and this certain, you know, and stand still while I'm talking to my husband on this phone. So there are times that you might want to just say, you know, I'm not going to, you know, chance it because I would have been stressed out. I would have had all, you know, but I could have done it like time-wise because I was supervising with some kids and they were high school kids and they were you know they're kind of like on your own I could have done a few early morning classes time wise but it what internet wasn't going to work and I'm so glad that I didn't try I didn't bother you know so I wanted to throw that in there too mm -hmm. 
<laughs> not everywhere has good internet. Right. So check before you leave. That's the important thing yeah. there. <laughs> um, what else do you guys have for tips and tricks? What about lighting? What do you use for light for lighting? And get mine. <laughs> I only use like this for light, the little ring clip on. Mm -hmm. I don't like it for every day because it clips on. It's limited to where it can go and it shines right in my eyes. Yeah. It actually gives me headaches. So I don't use this only for traveling. Also, it dies really fast. And this little cord is really short. So when I yeah. attach it and clip it, it is like very short. So it's only my travel. I have this other ring light that's on a tripod that I purposely bought for travel. Oh, that so looks this nice. one that goes with me. It's much I easier. I can adjust it and move oh, it. Oh, weird. So that's my lighting. And then if you ask, if you're a brick and mortar teacher, ask your school district, tech companies give freebies. This is Lenovo, but this is actually a little a light. It plugs in your USB and I got it from my school district. It's like a little tech company freebie. So if you ask your tech people or you see someone going to a tech conference, tell them to look for a little battery, like a USB light. Yeah. And these are really handy, really awesome in a pinch. If you need something, it's a great one. And it's really small, easy for travel. So I keep that in my travel bag. Mine is battery operated. Yeah, so it's mine, but it plugs, it plugs to recharge. Yeah, this one charges, yeah, it charges in your when USB. I go to the hotel, I have this light. I think you guys have probably seen Ooh, it. Oh, nice. This comes out like this, and then it tucks back in, and I just shove it in my suitcase. <laughs> I like I that. I had an interesting time when I was teaching in my daughter's closet. Um, she has no power cords in there. So I was able to get the power cord to my computer and everything and the light over here, she had a light in there, but it was this wonky light and I have an external camera. So I get some light, but it wasn't quite enough. So I felt like I was like the creepy ghost woman, you know, trying to tell a story. <laughs> so I took my tablet and I did the, um, the the light on it and you can give it some different glows and I hung it up over my head on the rack so it illuminated the perfect amount but I was like what am I going to use and I was like oh I know what I can use it was perfect but it just gave you that enough glow it was like doing the um where you have the options to do your camera and you could do the whole screen illumination so it was just the soft white light that I hung up there it was it was perfect nice Good yeah idea. Well, one time when I went on vacation, I did not have this and I went to an Airbnb, not a hotel and the lighting was horrible. So we went to the closest Walmart and I ended up, I don't have it right here, but I got a long fluorescent light flashlight thing that charges when you plug it in. So that's a really good thing is to get a plug in charger rather than batteries and, um, the other thing is, you know, if it's an Airbnb, your lighting may be an issue. So, yeah, mm. remember. And I just tried to get something that was versatile I could use for other things as well. <laughs> Amy, before I got before I got lights, um, I would bring my own light bulbs, my daylight <laughs> bulbs. Now you can't change it in every hotel, but depending on whose house I was or where I was going, I would just bring my own light bulbs. And then I do green screening with Manicam in my regular classes. And I found this light that folds up pretty like flat. That. And I literally use this one light every day to teach with a green screen. So I don't have any of those oh, photography need... lights or anything. It has um, about six or seven different, you know, lighting uh, levels. Did you, you get that bright... on Amazon? I like that. Yes. Um, when I bought it, it was like 25. I think it's like 35 or 40 now, but um, it folds up real nice, has a little plug to charge it. And one thing, and it lights up everything really, really well. And it doesn't hurt my eyes at all. But again, just for my daily classes, it works great as well as whenever I'm traveling. Um, yeah, that's so that's great. something a little different than a ring light. And if you mm -hmm. are doing Manny cam, I would at least try it because it works for yeah. me. And instead of having a million lights and big things taking yeah. up my classroom, it sits on my desk and it's convenient. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Good. I'm going to look into that because I have the green screen right here, but that's my big, oh, you can't see it. <laughs> but that's my biggest problem is the lighting. It's just, it's just bad enough that it's not, 
good for classes. It's yeah, and my light on my desk, between my desk and my green screen, I mean, it's about five feet, maybe, because if I pull it, I can pull it down. Oh, nice. So that way nothing's on my floor. The idea, I'm supposed to have a bed back here, but it's not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Awesome. Baby steps. Good. Uh, Candy, I I attached the wrong one. That's my soft box light. So <laughs> I was putting in the, the link for the ring light. But I did want to say, I know you're talking about the prices of some of these. I think this one was like 24, 25, but they have the makeup ones that's just almost exactly the same from elf and they were 12 or 13 dollars just the other day at walmart so, oh wow i mean if you i had looked at walmart that was last summer i couldn't find anything like that like i i asked it you would think that there would be a lot of people looking for that stuff at walmart but yeah, they were in the makeup section so. would think to check there the makeup section right yeah i did i did it that day but oh really yeah Wow. Um, okay. For traveling background, this is my traveling background. It's just a piece of fabric. It's green and I don't put anything else on. I don't green screen, but it happens to be green because that's the <laughs> piece of fabric I have. Um, I, I actually push pin into the wall at hotels. Sorry, hotels. Um, but you can certainly use tape like in tape up. It's just a piece of fabric plastic tablecloths from the dollar store work really good yeah. too because it's already kind of wrinkly it doesn't really matter um just stick it on up so i usually have dino with me and i put him behind me on a shelf or wherever i'm going to be um and it's just this really simple and easy i don't think you need to take all the pieces and accoutrements of your classroom the students who are your regulars are going to know that you're not in your normal classroom anyways they don't need the normal classroom like mandy's beautiful vip kid sign and my VIP kid letters. I, I don't take all that stuff. I just take the little fabric and call it a day. So I'll add to that because if there is anybody that's interested in green screening before I bought my, you know, fancy one, I did just get this three or $4 piece of fabric. And I used this for about two months before I decided I wanted to go big. And, um, and again, this is great because while traveling, the kids really never know that I'm in a different room or not because I change my backgrounds all the time depending on what I'm teaching. Right. And so this really keeps everything in my classroom cohesive and streamlined. Good. So I was going to say um, in the hotel using the backgrounds, I have gotten the putty that you put. Yeah. And put, yeah, the yeah. putty. <laughs> I yeah, love this I stuff. I did take off a little bit of paint in one of them. So I stopped doing that. <laughs> Um, but one time I forgot the putty and my husband had this great idea to stick the hangers through the grommets, you know, grommets on the thing, the little circles. So he stuck hangers through them and we hung it over the top of the TV that was set up in there. And that was it. That was my background. <laughs> Ah, in hotels, speaking of which, something that would be good like that um, is using the ironing board as a desk that can move wherever you need it to go. It's an adjustable height. So if you'd like to stand while teaching, you can do that, too. Mm -hmm. I used I used the iron board as my prop holder the other day or my, you know, I had my puppets. Not really a lot of props, but I did bring a puppet. And well, I guess now that we're on that subject, <laughs> I bring my flashcards. <laughs> I traveled at Thanksgiving, yeah. so I have a turkey puppet. Oh yeah. So this I and take then my whiteboard. This is it. Meg, Mike, mm -hmm. and a star. So, and that's it. Four things. Oh well. I have and I'm the prop queen, so that's it. Four things. <laughs> that's pretty good for you. So yeah, Meg, instead of taking a whiteboard, I have some of these, just a plain paper. You can use dry erase marker on these. If you're flying and you don't have a lot of room, these are great. Um, I have one prepared or, you know, something like that. So just document protector with white paper works too. Although I must say, I love my whiteboard. <laughs> I, I travel with this whiteboard and one blank and that's it. Nice. So this one's from my Etsy shop. So yeah, it goes everywhere. So those two, what's that? Six props, seven props. That's it. And I TPR a lot more when I'm traveling. I also draw a lot more things when I'm traveling. I also look up pictures on my phone a lot more when I'm traveling because I don't have the stuff inside uh -huh. the classroom. 
So um, you kind of just make do with what you have. Very simple. This is my travel bag. It's really small. And that's where everything goes in, all inside. So Google Slides is great for traveling. And yeah. stars to Cam apples. is great for traveling. <laughs> I like stars to apples, which can be on your phone as well as on your iPad or whatever. And that's just like, that's a lot like Google Slides. So you can do rewards. And it also has a whiteboard on it. Yeah. So you could do that with your phone. You could use your phone as a whiteboard also. I do take two rewards. My two finest stars. I take the Minecraft one in case I have older boys. And I take the baby animals because everybody loves baby animals. <laughs> yes. Trophies. You take Babies your trophies? Good. I will take them. That's yeah. like the, and I, when I first started, all I had for my rewards were either trophies or little animals. And the trophies went out with any oh, age cute. or any um, yeah. boy or girl. So if something were to crash as far as my, you know, Manny cam and stuff like that, I at least have the trophies. Yeah. Um, Candy said she uses an Amazon photo backdrop for classes. Oh, in her regular classroom, cheap and easy. I had gotten them from Vista Print, like a backdrop too. But and the I... other thing you can do, I was going to say the, the oh, other thing. Ahead, you... <laughs> Sorry. No, she said, go ahead. Go ahead, Cindy. Oh, okay. Um, the other thing you can do if you're traveling is you don't have to necessarily bring a whole bunch of rewards. One thing you can do as a reward is show them photos of your trip. Like, you know, I went to Florida, I saw a turtle and seagulls and, you know, they love to see photos of your actual trip. So I could put like five in a file and just every five minutes show them a photo of our trip. Or you could even wait till the end and say, you know, if we get done with the lesson early, I'll show you some photos of my trip. And that can be as a reward system. I was going to say, I, when I traveled, I went to Washington, D.C. My students knew I was there. And so they, I sent them pictures of my travels through WeChat. And when I had class with them, I used the flyers, you know, the touristy flyers from the hotel. I cut the pictures out and then I brought scissors with me. And so I cut a picture of the Washington Monument. Oh, that's I cut a, a good picture idea. of the White House. Yeah. They're all free. So, and then I just yeah. tossed them when I was all done because that was my Washington, D.C. props. And then I oh. went to North Carolina. So I showed them pictures of the things in North Carolina from the hotel in the travel papers. They're free. So bring a scissor and you've got Good an idea. <laughs> yeah. Good. Um, Candy said, Amy, I use trophies for rewards too. I got those at Dollar Tree. That's where I got mine. <laughs> yeah. And Candy said, great idea, Cindy. Realia. Realia is great for older students yeah so so far we have ipad don't forget your power cords your hotspots write travel and feedback talk to the hotel because you want to ask them about your speed and you want to ask them to be near the router so do that before you go um lighting background props and rewards and google slides stars to apples i didn't write them all down once we started and what was the other one she uses many cam so um to have those things. I have Remember I have some videos, videos on my on my on my YouTube channel about stars to apples. There's so many things you can do with it. Yeah, there's a lot of fun rewards. I like watching those. I've learned a lot from those videos. So, so the other thing gonna, that you can do oh, oh is for some there's some people that are, you know, traveling and truly living abroad, not yes. just taking mm -hmm. little vacations. Um and so there's a great Facebook group called VIP kid teachers who travel. So if there are people that are wanting to truly move away or have extended travel, um, that's a great group. You can ask them a lot of questions as well. They also have a little list, like a Google drive list of different countries where people are living. And if you oh, need cool. to reach out to somebody and want some tips or advice or need a place to stay, it's a great way to connect. Um, and then just to top that off, if you are going for an extended time, you can always change your SIM card in your phone and keep your same phone and then just put a new country SIM code in there um, and you can get their data and all of that, which would be a lot better. Mm. And if you're in a country, you might need a VPN. So oh, right, depending right. on where you are, like there's teachers in India 
who um, their internet service is intermittent about being able to log into VIP Kid. So if you want, I would educate yourself on VPNs. Mm -hmm. Especially where, wherever you're going, you need to check on that. Yeah. Good, good idea. Yeah, that's a great group. I'm glad you mentioned it. I had it in my notes, but I didn't write down the exact name of it. And I was like, I know it's travel, some VIP kids it's, travel something. Can it's a great that? group. I mean, if it's, nothing else, just to inspire you to oh, yeah. uh, know the different possibilities. And there's a lot of teachers who, especially younger ones that have just gotten out of college, who have gone over there to help pay off their student debt, right. you know, because um, of course, everything with COVID, we're on hold and all of that. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's, it's a great group. Yes. And so, digital nomads. Digital nomads, but there is one that is the traveling. Yes, it's teacher. VIP kid teachers who travel. Yeah. Oh, I thought I had it put up. There's several. Um, I'm on with several, but yeah, there's digital nomads, and then um, VIP. There's a specific VIP kid one, teachers who travel. Yeah, I think that's it. Mm -hmm. and there's there's an RV one too, VIP kid <laughs> teachers, and the RV life is the okay. RV group. So um, yeah, I put in our um in our chat box about another website to check internet before you travel is called Campendium and that's for campgrounds. So if you're ever going to a RV park or a campground, it has all of the ones across the nation listed and people put in actually their bars, how many bars they got for Verizon and AT&T. It's in Campendium. So I put the link in our chat box, but that's another great resource. If you're traveling to, um, whether across the USA or other places, always plan to have different phone plans. So my phone is Verizon. When we traveled full-time, my husband was going to have AT&T and those are the two big ones. So between the two of them, we would hope for a signal for my online teaching. Um, also, I would look at the RV parks before we were going. I was making a list of parks that just have no signal at all, like Yosemite in California or other places that I would know that would be a week I'm not going to teach and let my parents know my schedule etc so yeah so just always have a backup plan always more than one um don't just think just wing it and run out out there and travel i did i waited until i was a year in with vip kid before i really tried a hotel because i wasn't brave enough and now no big deal let's go i can do it um you just get more comfortable as you practice so so another thing as far as travel, because I'm big on traveling and I'm big on encouraging people to travel. And a lot of people don't think that they have the funds to travel. Of course, our jobs with working with VIP Kid or any other ESL online company allows us the opportunity to do that. Um, obviously pre-COVID, so, you know, but um, there is a website called couchsurfing.org. And Ooh. if you think of it like Airbnb or VRBO, um, you can actually stay at people's homes for free. And everybody, that's what happens. I see the faces. <laughs> I will tell you. Of course you can. Ha, 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 ha. It's, it's a great, it, it really is a great community. Now, you know, people can be vetted. Um, you have reviews just like you do for Airbnbs or VRBOs. Um, I can rate people as a guest in my home and then they rate me as um, a host. So you can see how many um, people are on there. You can see the homes. You can ask, you can use their internet, all of that. Um, so maybe when the world gets back to normal, for some people, that might be a really interesting way to go and visit different states or different countries. Um, I did it whenever I um, was living in another area and it was the best thing I ever did in my life. I have made friends from all over the world and it was happening when a time whenever I couldn't travel. So the travelers came to me and I have friends that I have had for a lifetime. And so for people who are wanting to get out there, it's just another thing to look at and consider. Wow. You could get, you could refer people too to make sure they have a four year degree and then you can talk them into. <laughs> I like it, Cindy. There you go. <laughs> I get 10% of any of your sales. <laughs> That's great. So that is all I have on my notes. Does anybody have anything else that you can think of? No. 
I will say that I took a workshop on it. I don't know that the workshop is still offered from VIP Kid, but I did take a workshop. And I, of course, have a video about it. But she gave us a list of everything, and it's listed in that video. Um, I did plan on bringing it today. But, you know, life, I haven't been home until just now. Um, I even forgot to send them the link today. So <laughs> it's good it's if okay. all worked out. But I don't have the list for you, but you can take... Um, Take a look at the video for traveling. Um, or join the VIP Kid iPad users group. There's lots there's of people that help. There's a lot of help. travelers in that group. Yeah. Download yeah. the HD on your iPad. If you take it, definitely good, be prepared. Even, yes. Even it's you... free. It's free. It's just, right? you know, the only way you can teach with your iPad. Learn how to use that iPad if you don't use it. <laughs> That's, and I also, I'm using mine now as a reward system on my computer also and I have some videos about that I just recently learned how to do that and I love it because I can just touch screen my iPad I don't have to hold my phone up and I, I have not been able to figure out how to do Google Slides with everything on my computer screen so now I can use it by hooking up my iPad onto the side and it it's great. And I have a couple videos on that. And if anybody's watching and they want more help on that, you can let me know, but it has just been awesome. So now I'm using my iPad for my classes and it's also there as a backup to teach from if needed. So now so I'm if using you don't it. want to wear a sticker on your sleeve saying that you're an <laughs> online teacher, you can go to Mandy and have your- right. We'll put it on the sleeve. <laughs> I have my website on my sleeve, not this shirt, but um actually Mandy, that's a good idea. I think we need that. Like, right <laughs> we on could the back. Do that. Yeah, well, I really big. I had thought of that. Shirt. Yeah, I had thought of that. Like, like one thing you can do is like if you have if you're the vinyl person, you can make a name tag that you could put on any shirt. Like yeah. I have thought of that, I've never done it, but like with the neodymium magnets, just you know, huh? put it on your shirt. Or tape it or whatever. I was but actually then... just looking at those today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've had that thought for a long time, but I have not followed through with it. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right, everybody. This is awesome. Thank you guys so much. Those of you in the chat, thanks for coming. I hope you enjoyed and um, leave here with some tips and tricks for teaching while traveling. All right, everybody. Thank you. Bye. And let us know where you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.